Welcome to the movies, pal. You're for the neighborhood Master Chaos back with you once again for a review of a film that just, as of the recording of this video, released onto Blu ray. And it's another movie that I've never heard of. So you know I'm talking about Vinegar Syndrome. This is the film Satan's Blood, also known as Escalofrio, from 1978, directed by Carlos Puerto. Now, like a lot of Vinegar Syndrome releases, this is a hard film to quantify, to review. And, and I'm hoping by the end of this review, you'll, you'll get why. It is not an easy film to classify. I can give you terms such as Rosemary's Baby. Well, that's what I thought the movie was in the beginning. Because the main character, the main actress here, the, the female lead, says she's pregnant. She says she's four months pregnant. By the way, ladies, if you watch this film, uh, I, you can tell she's not four months pregnant. We see her naked quite a bit. And her tummy's too flat for four months, uh, for a four-month bump, <laughs> for lack of a better word. She's not pregnant. And uh, they probably should have uh, taken that out of the script because it's sort of a red herring. You think it plays a part, but it's not even, has nothing to do with it. This is a very difficult movie to review because even me telling you the plot isn't exactly what's going on. It's very strange. This is probably the, the strangest movie I've had to review. So I'll say this. A couple runs afoul of another couple who worships the devil and uh, they have a satanic orgy together and then things go awry that's kind of all i can say it's probably gonna be a short review i think what i'll do instead is tell you my initial feelings on the movie i was kind of shocked this is a pretty sexy movie every female in this movie is naked uh, for long stretches of time which i'm not complaining about i think the biggest complaint i have with the movie is that it makes no sense it is completely nonsensical in a I want to say almost in a Lucio Fulci way, where you're like, wait a minute, what's happening? Why would they do this? Why would this be the choice that they make? Wait, hold on. If this is happening, then why is that happening? It's the kind of movie where you think is is, is going in one direction, and then goes in the other direction, but it goes in, and not in like, oh, you got me, movie, you got me, hell yeah. It's more like, what the fuck? What are you to, why are you doing that? It well, doesn't make any sense. What is going on here? When you get to the end of the movie, are things explained? No. As a matter of fact, you have even way more questions. Nothing is answered. It's just it's one of those things where weird, 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 slow burn, slow burn, what is happening? Then you get to the ending and you're like, wait a minute, what? 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 I think if I sat looking at the cover of this movie for about 30 minutes, debating whether I liked it or not. So, uh... What? And I kept replaying the movie over and over in my head. Like, wait a minute. So so what did that have to do with anything? Who was that guy? Why did they do this? Who were those people? Yeah, it's one of those movies. It's a head scratcher. It's a head scratcher. So I initially thought this movie sucks. Sucks. I don't ever want to see this again. And this is pretty terrible. Uh, I'm going to see if anybody wants to buy this. I'll probably wait until it goes out of, uh, uh, you know, out of print. However... However, as it happens with some movies, I slept on it. I slept on it. I thought about it. I let the movie marinate. And once I allowed it to be its own thing, once I allowed it to say, okay, it's not what I expected. It's not what I, it's not what I was searching for. It's not what it initially looked to be. I appreciated it for what it was. You know, it's it's a basically a satanic excuse for nudity and, and, and oiled up bodies and orgies. A FYI, you do see a couple wieners in here. So just a heads up on that. <laughs> heads up on that. Uh, but there's a lot of female nudity on display, which is nice. The events, the, the way they play out are very confusing. Like I said, you don't get an answer. But it's the kind of movie that you almost need to sit with, maybe marinate, give it a day. And I think it's almost a, a dark horse contender for the most surprising, unique movie of the year so far. 
By the way, I reversed the slip. This is a slip I like the best. The other one is the Satan's Blood cover on the uh, on this. I actually think I like this movie. Which shocked the hell out of me. Because the first time I saw it, I thought, wow, I, this is total nonsensical garbage. FYI, that creepy doll is uh, not really a big part of the movie. It appears twice, but it isn't alive or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. It's it's there. It, it's it, it's not on the poster just to, you know, creep you out. But uh, it's there, but it really has nothing to do with anything. This is a tough rating, but I'm going to go with three stars. Three stars for Satan's Blood, which shocks me. Because after I got done watching the movie, literally as soon as the credits rolled, I was like, zero stars. What a piece of garbage. But it's the kind of movie that you really need to sort of marinate with. You have to let it sit. You have to let it soak in your mind. And I think the problem with the movie is you need to make up the plot on your own. You need to understand, oh, that, I guess they did this because of that. I guess that was happening because of this. And I don't want to go into details because... It's spoilery. This lovely disc comes with a 45-minute making of documentary, which is ridiculously extensive. It also has a commentary track with Sam and Kat to uh, uh, better help you appreciate the film. And I think that's how I'm going to watch it. And my second time around, I'm going to watch it with the commentary. And maybe, may maybe the gals will be able to unlock the secret meaning behind Satan's blood. It is a movie. And, and I don't, I don't want to put it in this camp. It's kind of like a Kubrick film. Or like a Lucio Fulci film. Kind of something where you're like, at first you're like, oh my god, what? I really didn't get that. I did not get that. But I do highly believe that a rewatch will improve the movie. And with age, I think in my mind, as I replay it, as I think about it, I think the movie will improve. I think the movie will grow on me. But yeah, that initial impression was not a positive one. So less than 24 hours later, as I'm recording this, I've already improved my, I guess, interpretation of the film. And again, because my mind did most of the legwork for the movie, plot-wise. Keep that in mind if you're interested in getting Satan's Blood here from Vinegar Syndrome. Gorgeous slip. Nice, you know, raised embossing. But whatever. The slip is the slip. The movie is the most important part, right? And for me, the movie is one of those puzzle piece films that I'm not sure if I liked it or not. Kind of like most Gialli. My friend, thank you so much for watching. It's time to close the theater down. I hope you enjoyed this review of Satan's Blood. Keep in mind, it's a slow, slow burn. Uh, there's about a 20-minute orgy sequence in the middle. You see some wieners. Uh, there's plenty of boobies on display as well. Is it a, is it a solid recommend? It, it's a recommend with a caveat to beware that it's a movie you need to do some brain work for to interpret or to at least allow yourself to really get into it and, and sort of allow it to work. It's, it's magic, for lack of a better word. So, I'll see you next time. Your Philly Neighborhood Mastercast is here daily. Remember that if you're new here, please subscribe. Because that means you and I can hang out again pretty soon. Tomorrow, even, if you'd like. I love you just the way you are. Remember that. Please take care of yourselves. I'm about to close the theater down. Gotta pull the curtain across the silver screen here. So until we meet again, remember your fellow neighborhood master chaos loves you just the way you are. I care about you very much. The theater is closed, but our hearts remain open.